So if you're like me, who loves tech and trying new services and just learning new stuff, you probably have no problem growing on the tech side of the job. But you might hit a point where new technology might not help you grow as much as it did in the beginning. At least that's what happened with me. And in this video, I want to share three books with knowledge that helped me grow in my career and that I think can also help you. I will also be sharing stories on how I applied it and the results I got. I just hope it doesn't sound like I'm bragging. If it does, just know that that's not my intention. Okay, let's jump to the first book. And the book is Show Your Work by Austin Kleon. So when I was in about the second year of working in my first company, I was getting good evaluations from my team and my boss. People were trusting me to choose new tech to use on the project and to set it up as well. But my boss, which was also kind of a mentor, he told me that these evaluations from people that I worked directly with wouldn't be enough to make me grow in the company as fast as I could. That I should make sure that people from outside our team or even outside our department knew what I was doing. So that's what I did. I started writing articles in the company's private Kita platform, which is one of the leading platforms to write tech-related articles here in Japan. I was writing about the tech I was using in the project, how I was setting them up, and the problems I was having, the tech I gave up on, the failures I had, and a lot of other stuff. And by doing so, my name started to get known in other departments. And actually, people started to come to me for suggestions about something that I wrote in some article. And that not only helped me grow on salary and position-wise, but also made me get awarded MVE, Most Valuable Engineer, in the company's annual kickoff event. So yeah, showing your work is super important for growing your career. And this book helps you understand that. Actually, this book focuses on sharing on the internet for everyone to see. Which is what I'm doing right now with my YouTube channel and Twitter and blog posts and stuff like that. But the same principles can be used to show your work inside your company, which is what I did at the time. And one thing that a lot of times gets in the way of a lot of people is the imposter syndrome, where you think that you're too beginner to be showing your work to other people. But this book also helps you understand that this is not a bad thing. In fact, being a beginner is actually helpful in some aspects. Yeah, but some of you might be wondering, what if my company doesn't have such a system to share your work with other people? Well, in that case, this can be a good opportunity to suggest implementing such a system in your company. And the next book can help you with that. The next book is called How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. So when I was tasked to architect and build the base for a new project in the company, I actually made a mistake. To be specific, I built the back end of the project using AWS Amplify with JavaScript. I had successfully used this technology in two other projects, but for this project specifically, it was a very bad fit. So I wanted to change it to the serverless framework with TypeScript. I was 100% sure that this would be the best thing to do on that project. But it was really hard to convince people that we should do it. It took hours of meeting in multiple days and eventually they got it and we successfully migrated the whole code base from Amplify to Serverless Framework and the project got a lot better to develop on. But during that process, my boss straight up told me, you're bad at convincing people. Or in his words, Seto Kuryoku ga tarinai. And that stuck with me. For a few months, I worked on improving that. And I wish I had found this book at the time because all that knowledge scattered throughout the internet that I found is very well organized and explained in this book. He explains that the only way to get anybody to do anything is by making them want to do it. And also that in an argument, no one wins. And many other nice concepts that you usually don't think too much about. So that book is very valuable, not only for working related stuff, but also for the everyday life of everyone. To understand the power words and actions have in other people is key to having better relationships. So yeah, I highly recommend this book. Before we jump to the next book, if you've watched this far, I hope you're enjoying this content. And if you are, please leave a like, I would appreciate it very much. And the next book is Scrum, The Art of Doing Twice the Work in Half the Time by Jeff Sutherland, one of the creators of Scrum. If you're in the tech industry, chances are that you're already using Scrum or some other agile development framework in your projects. But the thing is that it's very hard to successfully implement Scrum when you don't fully understand the why behind each part of the framework. And that's what this book explains. It's not a tutorial on how to implement the framework. It tells real-life stories that clearly exemplify the why behind each concept in the Scrum framework. I read this book after I changed to my second company here in Japan about one year ago. 
and after I read it, I started to clearly see improvement points in the project I was in, and I started to give suggestions that were actually improving the project flow. And after a few months in the company, I changed to a new project that was still on the planning phase, and they were doing the project in a very waterfally way, just trying to plan every single detail before getting to the development part. So I used the knowledge of the second book on the list to suggest that we change to a more agile development way. With this, the project actually changed to Scrum and I became the Scrum Master. And the project was actually doing so well that they started to use it as a model for the other Scrum projects in the company. And with that, I was able to receive an award also in this new company on the annual kickoff event that just happened last week. By the way, this time I got so nervous of talking for more than 200 people that I actually passed out on the stage. Yeah, that's something that I gotta work on. But yeah, that book is not only good for working related stuff, Scrum can also be used in everyday life tasks. And the author also gives examples of that. So yeah, awesome book, highly recommended. I'll leave the links of the books in the description if you wanna check them out. And all the books on the list are also available as audiobooks narrated by the author. I love when the audiobooks are narrated by the author. And by the way, I don't think I have all the answers. I know I'm not at the top and there is still a lot for me to learn and grow. So if you have any books that you think that should be included on the list, please share it in the comments, I would love to check them out. And as always, if you liked the video, please leave a like, it helps a lot the channel. And if you want to see more of my content, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And hope you all the best, see you in the next one, Jane!